All right, what's up, everyone? This is Gump, and we're going to be doing a little bit more Theorycraft talk today. We're going to be talking about the Striker set and why I hate this set, actually. Um, I think it's the worst set in the game, and I was just the same as most people. I expected this to be the best set when I first looked at it, but once I started playing with it, I started seeing the huge flaws in the design of this set uh, with the way the game works. And it's not really, it's, you know, I'm not going to blame the devs on this. It's just one of those things that until you play with it a little bit and, like, get out there and shoot with it and, like, start seeing, like, how long your damage is up and stuff with that four-piece, you just don't realize just how many shots you actually miss. You don't realize how long it takes to build this thing up. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of factors that are factoring into things here, but... Either way, I uploaded the video of the Sentry already. You guys, uh, a lot of you guys have already seen that. I also uploaded the SMG build. Uh, you know, about a million DPS I'm doing with that with that build, and uh, it's running uh, two two or three pieces of Striker, never four. And I'm running Sentry when I'm running four piece uh, with the SMG right now. I don't think there's really another good option besides running Tacticians, and I'll be talking about Tacticians in the next video. I honestly think that Tacticians is probably the most OP set in the game, but you gotta use it correctly. I'll be talking about that. I mean, seriously, like, like, <laughs> dude, people, people have not put Tacticians together right yet, man. I'm telling you, the Tacticians is fucking sick, dude. Like, you get a group of dudes, ah, oh, man, I, I almost just want to do a tactician video. Just say, fuck it, striker sucks, and just start doing a tactician video, but I'm not going to do it. So we'll do a tactician video, and I'm really going to get into that, uh, talking about that set. So let's just talk about mainly the four-piece here. Obviously, the enemy armor damage is good with the two-piece. Uh, obviously, 50% critical hit damage is good with the three-piece. It originally was supposed to be 100%, but they changed that to 50. Uh, that's a good thing, because if they give me 100% crit damage with my current build, like, I'd be hitting dudes for about a half a million with my SMG. I'm already hitting them for, like, three, 400,000. So, another 50% critical hit damage would be a little bit OP. Uh, but either way, every consecutive hit deals 1% more damage with this thing. And that sounded great when I first saw it, you know, like, when the sets first got released before the games, we actually started playing with these things. And it stacks up to 100%, and the first thing that pops in your head is like, damn, I can do 100% extra damage. And then you read, you know, missing shots drops your bonus by 2%. And you're thinking, ah, but I don't really miss, you know. And you're like thinking about how accurate you are and this and that. And then the bonus is reduced by 1% every second. And you almost just kind of pass that off. But then you get into the game and you start playing with the set. And especially, you know, at first, if, you, if this is the first set you went and got, then what you ended up probably feeling like was, damn, this set's so OP. Because I know so many people, man, they were just, all they want to do is get striker set. You can see my striker farm video where I put put up the farm spots. That thing has like 25,000 views. And then the century, the century set only has like eight or 9,000 views. And then the uh, tactician set only has like four or 5,000 views. And it just goes to show you how many people were searching for striker because they really thought that was going to be the best set when these things first come out. That's exactly what they wanted with striker. It looked like it was going to be the way to go, but obviously from what I'm seeing is that the meta has changed and most people are actually running Sentry and most people are feeling the same thing that I talked about in the Sentry review and in my SMG build where I actually showed you the damage numbers for things. So what we figured out is this. Number one, we don't hit as many bullets in a row as we thought we did. I think a lot of people realize that, damn, like, I thought I was really accurate, but, I mean, look at what we're talking about here. We, we get every consecutive hit deals 1% more damage. Okay, that's great. And then, when we miss a shot, it drops our damage by 2%. So, to get back to even, all we gotta do is hit two shots and miss one. So, that's like a 66% accuracy. And that's actually a really good accuracy in a shooter game, if you think about it. Think about your Call of Duty accuracies. I mean, I know like Sandy Ravage's accuracy, we're talking about maybe one of the best Call of Duty players ever, is like 60 some percent. And then, you know, if you take that into consideration, I think that's a shotgun accuracy. But either way, like, that just goes to show you how hard it is. Now, our accuracy should be higher in this game, considering that we have targets that don't really move sometimes. But either way, um, a 66% accuracy to break even on this set just tells you all you need to know, because that's a break even number on this set essentially is having a 66 percent accuracy so this set really works well when we're fighting something like a tank that's not moving and we're just blasting on it and it just takes bullets forever and it doesn't move left and right and bob up and down or do anything else or do flips or anything uh else like people do in pvp but um obviously the more stationary our target is um you know, a good example is, is that when we go into the shooting range, this set is beautiful. It absolutely looks amazing when you go into the perfect condition where you're standing 10 feet away from a target and you're just sitting there blasting bullets. It makes your DPS look so great. 
But, you know, once you get in the game, you're obviously missing a lot more bullets than I think people thought that they were going to be missing. And so that's one of the problems we're having. Another problem with the missing shots bonus, but the dropping at 2% is this. Is sometimes when I'm shooting at a target and I kill it, the animation is so slow sometimes of a dead target, you can't tell the difference between the target being dead or not. And while you may get used to when a target dies, so every time you upgrade your sets and you get more powerful, you'll notice that sometimes you just shoot too many bullets because you're used to, you're, you kind of get used to how long it takes for something to die. And that's no different with the new sets. Like I'm starting to get more used to when my century, when I run my century set of when things die. And one of the things that throws that off is the variation of these sets. And I talked about variation in the previous video when I talked about century. And that's exactly what I'm experiencing with strikers to even to a higher degree. So I'm having a hard time of not, of stopping to shoot, like not shooting anymore once the enemy is actually dead. So even though I'm actually still shooting him in the head and the bullets are hitting him in the head, he's already dead. And so those are counting as misses. And I think that that's one of the things that you guys may not be realizing that's going on, but that's one of the things that's absolutely killing this set, is the animation of the character that we're shooting at is still up and, and, and in front of us, and it's impossible for the human eye to be able to just catch all of this and see that that target is actually dead right that second and pull up off the trigger, especially when we're in the heat of the battle and we gotta get this thing down and kill it before it kills us. And so you end up missing shots that you actually aren't missing because you think it's still alive, but it's dead. And the bullets are actually just going through the animated head that isn't even there anymore. And those are counting as misses, and that's just destroying your DPS with this set. That's one of my biggest problems with the set. Now, obviously there's way more variation with this set than there is any other set in the game. Number one, we have two different ways that it drops stuff. Missing shots drop stuff, and we're fighting against time. So every second it's going down in percentage. That's an important stat. They cannot take off. The bonus is reduced by 1% every second. So do not suggest that to them because what will happen is is people will just go buff the setup and then they'll be able to go and run over to another area and they will um you know they'll still they'll have the buff up all the time if it, if it doesn't go down every second and that's why they've got that set they why that's why they've got this this time bonuses going down on all the sets or whatever so that's really important that they still got that in there but it's a second thing that we have to fight against so our damage is just fucking all over the place with this thing is what I noticed. Like sometimes, like sometimes I'm in a situation and I'm just really accurate and all my shots are hitting and it's just a perfect situation and my damage is really up there. And then the next time I'm in a situation, it's a completely different situation because instead of shooting a non-moving target, I've got a target that's strafing to the left and right like really fast and like there's other dudes shooting me so I'm speeding up what I'm doing and I'm missing a few more shots. And then I think that I got that same damage I had a minute ago and I turn and I start blasting on some dude and next thing I know, I'm dead because I didn't have enough DPS to get down the dude and I, like I thought I was going to from earlier. And it's just the variation, like the DPS is all over the damn place. And I don't like variation in games, when, especially when I'm doing DPS. Like, I want to know what it is I'm going to, if I'm going to be up and like playing, especially the way I play with my SMG build, I want to know when things are going to die. I want to know how far I can push myself. How long can I stand here? Can I kill all of these targets without dying? And if, if the answer is I don't know, it depends on how high my DPS is going to be, like that's not a good answer for me. Like I need to know. And that's what, especially when I'm doing things like running solo missions and challenging, like when I'm playing by myself and challenging, like I can't be out there and be with my dick in my hand next thing you know i'm laying on the ground and it's because my dps wasn't as high as i thought it was going to be because last time it was this high and that's one of the things that i like about the century set is that it's a flat damage bonus so once i see those headshots hit and that thing's marked and i see these marks kick in like i can get an idea of exactly where that's at looking down at my fucking bar and trying to figure out how high the, the striker sets actually filled up and stuff like that's just not enough and and so there's just too much variation with this set for me and you know, some people are like, well, just be more accurate with it. Well, if people, if, let me tell you this, if you're so accurate, then you should be shooting stuff in the head, which means you should be running the sentry set because the first three bullets you shoot out of your gun, if they're all headshots, well, hell, you got the 45% damage increase right there. You damn sure can't get a 45% damage increase with the striker set that fast. So the one advantage it does have is once you kill a target, your bonus is still up. But 
it's not enough to offset the fact that the person who has Century on can immediately get back to 45%. Not to mention that this set also um, does not count for your teammates. So any when you got teammates all running Century, they pretty much have 45% up the entire time on, on, on individual targets at least. And so the, the bonuses to your teammates is probably the thing that 100% in my mind puts this set in the dirt. And so I really see no reason whatsoever that anybody would run a four-piece set of striker. I don't know why you would do it. It just doesn't make sense. It's it's more variation. It's honestly less damage. Like it really is in real terms, in-game playing and actually shooting stuff, you're probably getting less damage. It's impossible to not it's impossible to not miss shots because we're shooting things through the head and they're dying and we're still shooting while they're dead and the bullets are missing and so and it's impossible I think for people to really to, to, to nail that because the D, your DPS numbers are up and down all over the place. And so all of that stuff to combine versus the century set just makes this thing not that good. I recommend not running this set almost with any gun at all. But I, if I did want to run a gun with a striker, if you really want to run a striker, I think it works well best, I should say. It works best with an actual assault rifle. Because those things shoot a little bit slower and we're a little bit more accurate with our assault rifles. And they're kind of low damaged anyway. So that build up of damage kind of works. Like you're not going to burst anything down in this game with an assault rifle. So. The fight's a little bit longer, and I can just see where using it and you're being more accurate with it that it works better with an assault rifle maybe, but I still would probably end up going with sentries. Now, the two and three piece bonus on this is absolutely exceptional. There's no way around that. Um, I love running my three and three mix between these two things, but if I had to choose between all of these sets, I think this is the worst set that they put out. Uh, maybe even worse than Nomads. <laughs> like seriously like like at least nomads four piece i mean just comparing the four pieces not the other pieces but the the, the as, as far as a four piece bonus i think that this was the worst set that they put out um i don't know what they can do to fix it um you know i really don't what they can do to maybe get people to come over to striker is to actually change the range that you mark targets at so if they make a range on the century and say that you can mark targets as long as you're within x amount of meters of your target that's going to get the SMG users to stop using Sentry as much. Because either you're going to have to mark the targets further away, which is going to be outside of your gun's maximum damage range, or you're going to be forced to shoot and mark them outside of the range, which is going to be lower damage. And, uh, and that may make you start looking at Striker a little bit more if you're running an SMG. So anyway, I think that's, a good, I think that's good enough. I really don't like this set. I don't suggest anyone really runs it right now until we see something else uh, about it that... That changes my mind but uh century so far is definitely up there and i'll be talking about tacticians in the next video uh till then this is gump take it easy and i'll talk to you then